Horizontal vertical tabs are amazingly brilliant when you want to show different types of content. And of course, you can add template short codes into the tabs so you're not restricted just by what the tab tells you to do within the content. You can be a little bit more inventive. But what if you want to do something that showcases people, profiles, information, but you want to have a more unique look to it, like what we've got over here? I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So really simply, we have a section and we've got one column in there and I'm going to drop into here tabs. There is a bit of CSS code we need to add, but don't worry, you will have that code. So here we have a horizontal um, tab. We're going to change this to be vertical and uh, yeah, that's fine. That's OK. And I'm going to actually leave it just as two tabs for the moment. I'm going to set the navigation width to be 20. So I mean, this just defines like how close things are to the tab. I'm going to go for 20 here. You could go bigger if you want. I'm going to get rid of the border width. This is important. Have it set to zero. I'm going to leave the border color and background color as blank. OK, actually, no, not blank. I lie. I'm going to set that to be white. I'm going to make that to be white. OK, and I'm then going to go over to the titles. I'm just going to make these black for now or a dark color. OK, you can be a bit more inventive on how you want this to look. What we're now going to do is add in some custom CSS code. This is the important bit. Go down to custom CSS and drop this code in. Now, as soon as we've done that, we've rounded over the title tabs and the content as well. And that's looking OK, except we have this little line dissecting the title and the content. Now, where I've said for the tabs do not have any color, this is where you now need to go into the border color and basically pick fully transparent. So if you get that line appearing that we can see right now, I want you to get rid of it completely. Can you see there? So if I darken it, it becomes black make it completely transparent. OK, if you want to have a color, you can, but you will have an issue with that line. We now have full transparency going on there. Now, after this, it starts to become really, really simple. Go to our content and in our title tab, I'm, I'm going to get rid of the content. Well, let's leave the content for now in the title. Rather than it have saying tab one, I'm going to add in a image with a name. This is so simple. The code for this will be in the description. I'm going to drop in some HTML. What that does now in your title is pull through an image from your media library. OK, so if you want to see what that code is doing over here, uh, there you go. This bit at the beginning has div center. We have image source and then we have the address for the image. OK, and if you go towards the end somewhere there, it says uh, your text. I'm going to change that to say uh, Imran. OK, and that will have my name. So we can even put Imran Sadiq, however you want to do it. OK. So now we've got our name in there. Um, that is what you would do if you want to have an image and a tab in there. Now I'm just going to go to style and because that is now my name is in there, I'm just going to make that be a little bit bigger, something like that. OK, can even set the size of the image. So if I go for 10 pixels, it's a tiny image. If I go for 100 pixel, you get the idea. Now, if I duplicate that for every tab, it will duplicate it. Just go and swap out your image um url and the name and you're good to go but what about the content again super super simple i've created a template it's a section template not a header or footer i've called it tab contents name you would give it a proper name this is literally nothing more than just a section and inside of it i've added in an image i've added in my name a uh, role you might have some descriptions or some paragraphs you could even add a video in whatever you want an accordion Google Maps, anything like that. You could even have a product with a buy now button and so social sharing icons. And that's it. OK, once you've done that, you then want to get the short code for that. Copy it. Go back over to your tab. And in the content for tab one, get rid of the text and instead paste in the short code. Now, you might not immediately see it. You might need to refresh the page or just jump over the preview. That is now done. I'm not going to show you the results of that just yet. OK, by the way, what I now want to do is go back over to my content and I'm going to get rid of tab two. And look, everything is nicely sized and I'm going to duplicate tab one. I'm going to go in over here and I'm going to change the short code for tab two to be something else. Made a copy here with a slightly different image. I copy the short code and we're going to drop that one in over here. So we have a different short code for tab two. So I'm going to go over to the HTTPS or the URL for the image, get rid of the image duh, 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 and drop in the new image. We have a lion and I'm just going to change the text as well. You can mess around with the sizing and anything you have like that. Let's now just update that. 
And by the way, you know, I just for simplicity, I'm just going to duplicate this three times there. So we got a bit more of a bigger layout. I've changed it to be a 900 width and light. If we just start to preview this, okay, can you now imagine you've got profiles of people or images or products? And I mean, tab two and three are not going to show you anything different because they're just duplicates. But look, this is now like, like an, an interactive, like little bit of information that's going to be displayed depending on where you click. This is really simple. Yes, there was some CSS code. I'm not going to lie about that. You needed that code to get the nice rounded effects. If you don't want the rounded effects, you could totally get rid of that code. You just got to go in and put in some different code or whatever to modify the sizing. I think it looks better like that, in my opinion. But that's just me. Hey, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and have a bit of fun. Remember, the code is in the description. Go away and click and get it and have a play with it. But it's another way of doing things. Take care and I'll see you soon.